SCP-2095 Kirok of Carsus Tundus A Kirok is an organic, biologically living structures used as temples. The Foundation presently has a deceased instance in containment but other, possibly living instances are theorized to exist across the world. Dr. Tsukino wrote in a report that the creation of a Kirok is more terrible than initially hypothesized. A living human is anointed then repeatedly fed and shaped, its brain slowly atrophying as it becomes a living temple. The Sarkites cultivate flesh and bone as one might tend a bonsai tree. The SCP Foundation file of SCP-2095 shows little details. I will read through the file and will elaborate with the explanation later on. SCP-2095 is a primarily subterranean temple complex located at Gyros, an arid and uninhabited Greek island in the Aegean Sea. Structure predates previously known archaeological sites on the island. Inscriptions found within have included Cretan hieroglyphs, Linear A, Hittite cuneiform, and a previously unknown writing system composed of spiral-shaped glyphs varying in complexity. SCP-2095 is composed of entirely biological material and is believed to have once been a living organism. Samples taken from SCP-2095 have revealed bone, chitin, muscle, adipose, and viscera. Radiocarbon dating has placed the subject's death at Cal 1200 to 1000 BC with soft tissue having undergone a form of embalmment. Chambers are connected together via tunnels which are structurally and cellularly similar to the inner lining of the human intestinal tract. Large sphincters appear to have served as doors and are permanently relaxed. These portals would have likely been able to open and close as needed pre-mortem. The largest room contains an altar composed of bone, a component of the SCP-2095 organism. Forensic evidence suggests that it was used in a sacrificial manner. It is believed possible that living sacrifices provided SCP-2095 with the nutrients necessary for its survival, and the floor itself shows signs of acidic corrosion. The base of the altar has been carved into an Ouroboros, believed to be a symbol of religious importance to the creators of SCP-2095. Twenty-nine scrolls were discovered within the northernmost chamber of SCP-2095. Only four were found to be written in Hittite cuneiform while the rest remain undecipherable. Of those four, three are considered to be of a spiritual-slash-philosophical nature while one appears to be an inventory report. The first scroll is written by Son Alku and it reads, The wound cut from the flesh of totality deep, it severed the line of future and past. Drawn to its ancient fester, gods swarmed as flies to a corpse. We waited within bloodless veins, faithful to that which we could not know, unable to imagine that we might become their greater. Here, we slept until our souls became flesh. The second scroll is heavily stained and is written by Son Vith paragraphs that could be extracted. The swineherd prostrated himself before the sorcerer king and asked, Great sorcerer king and Ozir Mach, heart of man and light of lights, I speak for the folk of the cold marsh. We fear the red lanterns that dance without harmony, our spirit guides warn of ill omens. And Ion did assure the man, I have gazed upon the faceless ones, servitors of his undulating vastness. Their chief is blind castrated by our words and will. He sings songs of anarchy, but they will not come again. These terrible spirits do not deserve our love. Render unto them no sacrifice until the stars have aligned. The third scroll written by Son Skull, it reads, And to his flock, Ion thus spoke, Have stepped beyond the flow of dreams, Stood before the old ones within their own desolate domain. I have endured their intolerable force, across countless eons. I have seen the infinite dead worlds murder death herself. I have read the entrails of our Creator, beheld eternity unfurled. Know that our paradise draws near, and with our own flesh shall we birth it. Foundation archaeologists have found evidence of warfare throughout the island. This has included skeletal remains depicting likely anomalous causes for death such as implosion, internal combustion, disintegration, radiation poisoning, and fatal physical reconfiguration. 
The Foundation became aware of SCP-2095 after reports of a Cathedral of Bone being discovered by a team of Greek archaeologists who had been studying a large mound on the Isle of Gyros. Class B amnestics were administered and the archaeologists were returned to the general population. SCP-2095 was easily secured and construction of Reliquary Site-26 was completed by September 1949. On May 24, 2014, an earthquake occurred in the Aegean Sea. Reliquary Site-26 was unharmed, as were the anomalous objects retained within since its construction. SCP-2095 did however suffer some structural damage, but proved to be a serendipitous event. A hitherto unknown sphincter, sealed and hidden through calcification, had ruptured open within the altar chamber. Exploration of the chamber led to the discovery of the body of a human male. Individual has shown no signs of decay, and although lacking a detectable heartbeat, e.g. scans have revealed low-level brain activity. Research into the subject and its relationship with SCP-2095 is currently ongoing. Found inside was a single well-preserved scroll, strewn carelessly, and likely never meant to be contained within. Deduced to be a letter, it is believed to have been written by the ruling authority at SCP-2095 but had been unsent, possibly due to events directly referenced within. The document has been translated and is now accessible for viewing by Foundation personnel, it reads. Grand Carcistion May this missive find you at Kithara for it shall be my last. Our enemies have begun their assault on the island, but we have completed the rite of preservation. The temple will sleep and await resurrection by the children of Aditum. The fallen kingdoms and followers of Mekane have united against us, even as their nations crumble. Still, they have transmuted our every victory in the region to that of defeat, even as their own fates are sealed. The Bleeding Heart is our last stronghold in the Aegean Sea, but no doubt our eastern domain, Remain strong under your eternal gaze. The wounds sustained today will heal into the ages of ages. We are undying. Their victory here shall be hollow. Carsus Mexa has claimed their profane instruments and sails for Kithara as I write this. I vow that none are to leave this island alive. May their names be obliterated and their flesh consumed. We summon the Red Death. For the blood of heathens, we sacrifice ourselves. We will meet again in Aditum. I remain, Carsus Tundis. While the Foundation report has details about recent events considering SCP-2095 and to understand SCP-2095 we need knowledge outside the Foundation. The Alexandria Library has two scrolls relating to SCP-2095. The first is about SCP-2095 and the second about Carsus Tundis. SCP-2095 was a Kirok that served as the base of operations for Carsus Tundas at the Siege of Gyros during the War of the Flesh. During the battle, SCP-2095 was killed by Mechanite forces, eventually being buried over time by the Earth. It is unknown when the person who would be transformed into the Kirok of Carsus Tundas was born, though it was certainly before 1200 BC. This individual was an adherent to the religion of Nalka and was chosen to become a living temple known as a Kirok. The person was first anointed, before being fed substances and had flesh shaping performed on them, their brain atrophying as they transformed into a colossal Kirok. It became the mobile base of operations for Carsus Tundas, who made his base at the Aegean island of Gyros off the coast of Greece. During the siege of Gyros in the final years of the War of the Flesh, the Kirok of Tundas was killed during the bitter fighting on the island. Karsus Tundas soon after triggered the Minoan eruption, ending the Minoan civilization and causing the late Bronze Age collapse. It also tells us that Karsus Tundas is a Sarkite Karsus and former commander of the Kalmyktama Empire garrison at Gyros off the coast of Greece. Though Tundas lost a battle with the Mechanites at Gyros, with Tundas Kirok being put into preservation, he successfully managed to survive the battle by hibernating within a hidden chamber of his Kirok. Little to nothing is known of Tundas' early life, though he was born in the Sarkic-dominated Kalmyktama Empire. Tundas managed to reach the rank of Karsist, likely assuming the powers typical of one. 
He eventually became the commander of a Sarkic garrison on the Greek island of Gyros during the War of the Flesh. The Mechanite Empire and its allies eventually besieged the island of Gyros in 1200 to 1000 BC, intent on giving the Sarkites another defeat. However, during the early hours of the battle, Tundas wrote to Grand Carsus Ion about the impending defeat that Gyros would suffer, and that Carsus Mexa had the Mechanites' profane instruments. Tundas had in his possession one Amphora of the Red Death, which he intended on releasing upon the Mechanite army to turn their victory into a Pyrrhic one. This letter was never sent. He underwent the rite of preservation, concealing his Kirok beneath the earth in a death-like state until resurrection by a Sarkite could be achieved. Likewise, Tundas hibernated in a hidden chamber in his Kirok until he would be awakened once a Sarkite reached him. His awakening would never occur for over 3,000 years, in which time the Kalmyktama Empire fell and separated into different cults across multiple continents. Though the SCP Foundation discovered Tunda's Kirok in the early 20th century, his chamber would remain hidden until an Aegean earthquake in May 2014 opened it. Tunda's would be discovered alongside his unsent letter to Ion, though the Foundation detected low-level brain activity and no signs of decay. Currently, he remains in hibernation.